Pretty bright, I'm sorry. this <laughs> quick because no one's here to listen to me. On behalf of Spellies, on behalf of the Murrieta City Hall, on behalf of Murrieta Chamber of Commerce, and all the friends, family, and vendors that have helped make this event possible for the victims' families that we're here to support, I would like to thank you. We're going to have a lot of entertainment tonight. We have Raffles down the end. We've got silent auction over here. We're going to do a few more live auctions. There's a lot of opportunity to raise a lot of money. There's thousands of dollars worth of donations from across this city that everyone should be proud of. And let's continue making them proud by keep on donating. There's donation buckets. There's t-shirts. Those are completely donated and 100% of the profits. Please remember that that's the reason that we're all here. Say a prayer for them in your own way. And let's help get the families, the city, and all of us back on the right track. Thank you for coming. There'll be raffles, live auctions throughout the night. that's being uh, uh, sponsored par partially by the city of Murrieta and Spellies and a, a whole lot of other people. And I'm here with uh, one of our councilmen, Rick Gibbs. How are you tonight, Rick? I'm very well, thank you, Andy. Great. So what's, tell me what's going on here. Well, as you know, there was a tragedy in Murrieta, two of them, several weeks ago. And here at Spellies, this is kind of a come-together community event to support the families who lost a loved one and also to support the business owner who had a tragedy at his place. The fact that we have have literally hundreds of people here tonight. If we if we charge money for the parking spaces out here, we could probably raise thousands of dollars. I see people running around <laughs> trying to get spaces, and that's great. That's great they showed up. Um, tell me, um, Murrieta is, uh, this, of course, still one of the safer cities in the country, but I guess these things do happen, don't they? Well, as we all know, life is random, and bad things happen to wonderful people, and that's unfortunate. But as a community, we need to come together to be in solidarity with the families, let them know that we are thinking of them, we are sorry for the tragedy that has happened, and that we want to support them in any way we can. Well, thanks for coming down tonight. I'm having a great time. I actually won something in one of the raffles, so I'm happy, and uh, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We're out here at Spellies tonight, supporting the families of the fallen. We want to invite you to come on out. Rotary's here, Marietta and Temecula. Everybody's here. you got to come on out. Great cause. Great All event. Right. I think it's going to be a lot of fun tonight, guys. It's going to be a blast. Right, we're looking forward to it. All right, thanks for us.
it's a little bit hard to hear me in the back, so if we can go ahead and sign it down for a few minutes. I have 22 raffle tickets on the list stop right now. Can I get a hand raised in the back if you can hear me? Alright, everyone can hear me? Folks, literally, I have one. Tonight defines our community. This is what we're about. We're a community that comes together. Yeah. It was really important for me to get a statement from the Vanette family because I have received some emails over the past couple weeks voicing concern that we were being insensitive holding it here. And I just want to say that I have been in contact with that family and they're very supportive of this. And they've sent me this statement to read tonight to you. Bear with me, this isn't gonna be easy. The loss of Samuel James Vanette has left our entire family with a gut-wrenching feeling of, of despair and sadness. The incredible outpouring of love, support, and prayers from the community, our family, and friends, as well as strangers, is helping us to cope with this tragedy. Sam's favorite pastime was helping friends and strangers who were in need. Sam's undying passion for flying and animals began in his early years. He was a born peacemaker. He was loved by many. This was substantiated Sunday at Monteleone Meadows where more than 400 people gathered to honor Sam at his celebration of life. We would like to thank the city of Marietta, the community, and all of our friends and family for their amazing support. We are honored in Sam's name. We are hoping that justice is certain and swift against the man who took our beloved Samuel who was gentle, kind, and generous to all including the man who took his life. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. God bless you, and we love Marietta. <laughs>